Okay. As we move forward, we're going to talk about some double angle identity. Now, these are also on the proof of paper, but I'm going to put them here as well. So, when we talk about a double angle, for the sine of 2 times theta, that's what double means, multiplied by 2. The sine of 2 times theta is equal 2 times the sine of theta times the cosine of theta. For the tangent, it is 2 times the tangent divided by 1 minus the tangent being squared. For the cosine of 2 theta, there are three different formulas. And yeah, you got to know all three. Cosine squared minus sine squared. 1 minus 2 sine squared. Or 2 cosine squared minus 1. Again, all three of them you should know. And it doesn't matter which one you use because you're going to get the same answer for each of them. Right, so look at number one. Given that the sine of theta is equal to negative 7 over 25, and we know that this is true in that interval. And then we want you to find the sine of 2 theta, the cosine of theta, and the tangent of 2 theta. So, let's see what we can do. To, talk, to find the sine of 2 theta, I'm going to use my formula, which I know to be Right, right from there. I know the sine. I don't know the cosine. But we can figure out the cosine by going back here and talking about this interval. I know that the sine of theta is that in that interval. Well, that interval is quadrant 3. From pi to 3 pi over 2 is quadrant 3. So I can draw the information that was given in quadrant 3. I know that the sine opposite hypotenuse will look like that. And a little bit that in theorem will let me find that, that missing piece to be 24. Just remember that in quadrant 3 this will be negative or negative 24. Now when I'm here and I'm trying to find the measurement of the sine of theta, well, that was given. And the cosine of theta, I used my triangle to get negative 24 over 25. And then I can multiply those three together. And I know when you do a mental math, I'm getting 336 over 625. And let's move on. To find the cosine of 2 theta, it doesn't matter what formula we use, there are three of them. I'm going to pick one. I'm going to pick this one. You know, and I'm picking this one because it has a sign, and that was the information that was given. Remember, that was given here. So I want to keep with what I was given. So I'm going to use that one. Doesn't matter what you use, by the way. The sine I need to square it. So that's the sine, but I need to square it. One minus two, the sine to the second power. And then if you can do a little bit of algebra, a little bit of number crunching here. I need to square that. Forty-nine, six twenty-five. Then I multiply that by two. Two times forty-nine is ninety-eight. 625. I need to get the same denominator, so I'll make that 625 over 625. And I'm cutting off the leaf a little bit of space here, so I'm going to work this way. Again, same denominator, and then subtract. We should get 527 over 625. And now I'm going to continue. The tangent. The tangent is 2 times the tangent divided by 1 minus the tangent to the second power. So I will need the tangent 
I look at my triangle. I will move the tangent there. I will look at my triangle. So let's see what I have. Two times tangent is opposite adjacent. Tangent second part. So again, trip formula. And then I start working it out. I gotta multiply that. Uh, so that's two times seven, fourteen over twenty-four. I guess I should reduce that out of that right now. I'm gonna square that forty-nine over five hundred and seventy-six. Use your calculator and verify. So I need to subtract that, make some denominator, five hundred and seventy-six. Top and bottom, minus that. And we said we were going to reduce, so let's reduce. So I'm looking at 7, I'm looking at 2, 7 over 12. Now, here I am going to multiply by the reciprocal of my denominator and Multiply, reduce, reduce, multiply. We have a calculator. Let's, let's use our calculator, please. And, uh, and we should be getting 336 over 527. Okay. Number Formula, we should know. Number two. So, Given again the sign, I am given that this is true in mm -hmm. this interval, which by the way, quadrant mm -hmm. one, and then they happen to find all three. So please pause the video, draw that in quadrant one, that's quadrant one, opposite hypotenuse, draw that in quadrant one. And then find these three. Okay, I hope you pause the video and try it yourself. You had to find the missing piece. Uh, and the missing piece was square root of seven, the tangent theorem, by the way. And then once you have the triangle, then you just use it. The first one. Oh. I already did it for you. Two times the sine times the cosine. The sine is that. The cosine is that. Multiply everything on top. Multiply everything on the bottom. And yes, I reduce, by the way. Okay, moving on. And that's the answer, negative 1 over 8. What did we get? How we get that? Well, for the cosine, I have some formulas to pick from. I don't care which one you use. I'm going to use this one. I like this one, by the way. I need the cosine and I need to raise it to the second power. So what is the cosine? Negative, not square root of seven over four. And the sine, that one was given. And then I have to raise it to the second power. And I like that one because it kind of gets rid of, it does get rid of the radical. 7 over 16. 9 over 16. Subtract that. Negative 2 over 16. And that does reduce to negative 1 over 8. All right, next. The tangent, you should be getting that. If you haven't done it, pause and try it. Formula. Looking at my triangle, the tangent is 3 over rad 7. I will rationalize in a bit. 1 minus the tangent 
the power. I do not rationalize that because I know that I'm going to raise it to the second power. And that will get rid of the radical for me. So in the denominator, 9 over 7. I got rid of the radical, that's why I didn't rationalize. So here, uh, in the numerator, I'm going to multiply that. So that is uh, 2 times 3, 1 times square root. Eventually, I'll rationalize, I know I haven't done it. Give myself a little bit of room here. In my denominator, make that same denominator, 7, 7, with negative 2 over 7. And I just now have to determine, I need to rationalize. I will have to multiply by the reciprocal. Let me do that next. And when I multiply by the reciprocal of that, I keep a negative in the numerator, no need to move it. Uh, 7 over 2. And I can see that the, the data can be these. As a matter of fact, the 2 and the 3 number is really in the book. So after you multiply and reduce, we will get negative 3 squared. Right, we will stop right there. Two examples. Uh, let me give you some more here. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Have fun.